All right, let's do round two, but uh, I kind of wish I'd have thought about this in the last video, but uh, it seemed like I was running a little slower this morning. Probably should have drank more tea first thing, but uh, anyways, let's expand on uh, what we did in the last video. Let me refresh your memory. So we talked about uh, just using canned foods, uh, except for the rice, but we have you know one can of chili without beans, two cans of red kidney beans, and then uh, you know rice, two cups of rice. So theoretically, I'm thinking, even though it says it should be, uh, you know, more servings than that, I'm estimating about 10 people. So 346, so 35 cents a piece. And, uh, you know, if, if you were to stock, you know, 100 days worth of food um, equivalent, that'd be uh, 346 bucks. So that would be... If you, if you did it, you'd say once every four meals, roughly, it'd be a little bit less than that. But I had this other idea. We, uh, in our family, we do what we call semi-homemade. There actually used to be a TV show for that. And uh, it's just another way to spice up canned stuff. And I think this started when my uh, mom had to start working probably in the uh, 70s. And uh, that was another currency reset, by the way. Uh, all of a sudden, we could no longer live on my uh dad's income and my mom started working and so truthfully uh i cooked a lot of meals i'd get home from school and you know i'd take a can of soup and i'd cut up you know one of those small yellow onions and some bologna fry it up and then throw it in the soup and i'd have something more than just the soup you know you get in the can so here's some ideas to even extend this a little more and actually make it even better um you know, the Hormel chili, it's pretty good stuff, but it, you know, it's not fresh. It doesn't have big chunks of bell pepper. It doesn't have, uh, you know, chunks of onion that you can notice or uh, any jalapenos. And so if you just add, like in this case, um, I try to do as much as I can one pot cooking. In this case, this will take two pots. So the first thing you do is you go ahead and get your uh, rice going because that's, uh, I got the instructions over here. It's 20 minutes to do the rice. So you got two cups of rice, you need uh, four and a quarter cups of water. I always just double it, just four cups of water. And you just get that going. So you, you need to get the water boiling and then you throw the rice in. It's, I mean, hopefully everybody knows how to do rice. And then you say, well, let's cut up our, uh, our different uh, little vegetables here. And we uh, uh, get them simmering in a pan because you want to break them down just a little bit. And, uh, you know, depending on how hot you want to make this, you might want to core the uh, jalapenos out, you know, remove the seeds and remove uh, that vein that's in there. Me, myself, uh, you kind of need to check your bell peppers uh, because they may be, I just noticed this one has like a little rotten end, so I'm going to have to use that right away. Um, just bought this from the store too. But uh, you determine the hotness, you know, so you'll have to experiment. Not all jalapenos are the same hotness. And, uh, you know, I usually use uh, Texas sweet or Valdelia onions and just get the regular. So just to tell you, the, uh, the jalapenos were about 10 cents a piece. The onions are roughly a dollar. The uh, bell peppers are like 90 cents. And uh, I like to add uh, some tomatoes to my uh, chili. And so I would take about a half a can of Rotel and now this is a little spicy so same thing you may choose to drain this you may choose to use it as is it's it's a spicy it's got green chilies in there but if you go ahead and make your chili this way and by the way you know if you want to add the fresh ingredients you're going to be cooking anyways just going to take another pot um, you then could go and take and uh, do some kidney beans where you know, this is uh, like a third the cost or less of the canned beans, and it takes up less space. So you get those cooking. But I think the recipe on these, it takes like an hour. So that may not be uh, something that you could do. Let me see what it says. Yeah, let's stand one hour. And then I still would, if you over, soak it overnight, though, I mean, that kind of saves some time because then you just throw it in the beans and cook it a little while. They can absorb the juices. So you just got to plan ahead with that. But... Um, if you use your garden to supplement your meals, you're going to come out way ahead because it's just going to taste way better. And the next recipe will be showing where we basically prepare the whole thing from scratch. And it is a, uh, um, 
you know, fresh ingredients, everything. And uh, we'll see how the costs work out for that. But I'm basically showing that if you add these ingredients, um, and I'm counting like a full can of Rotel, even though you may choose only to use half, um, you basically double the price. So you're, you're going from 35 cents to maybe 70 cents a person. But, well, I take that back. I'm suggesting this could feed maybe four more people by adding this in here. So that knocks the price down. So you got 14 or 15 people. So the, the price may not have gone up that much. But uh, anyways, um, something to think about. You can always uh, do a semi-homemade and just make the meal that much better. Yeah, I went to the props department and got some uh, red velvet to put in the background. I don't know if you noticed that. We're uh, we're we're uh, moving up in our budget for for this stuff. We went from zero budget to I don't know what that cost, ten or fifteen bucks. I'm going to use that for another video you'll see in the future. But anyways, that way I didn't have to clean off my dining room table. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, so uh, hopefully that's helpful. This is uh, you know version two, semi homemade. The other one was just uh, stuff straight from the store, and then the next one will be uh, pretty much all. Well, in fact, I have a video out there already for um, my gluten-free chili. You can look it up, and you'll see what the cost is. But I didn't break it down per person, so maybe I'll go into the comments for that, and I'll link, link all three of these videos together. So, hey, I hope you're having a great day. I hope everybody's treating you well, and uh, God bless.